I'm Stuart Evans and I'm the Executive Chairman of Novasem. What is it about your company that makes it so special? Well, Novasem has developed carbon negative cement and we aim to become the first great cement company of the 21st century. Most of us don't spend a lot of time thinking about cement, but it's a global business with revenues around $170 billion. It's a fantastic material and simultaneously an enormous problem. Every year, nearly 3 billion tonnes of cement turns into nearly 30 billion tonnes of concrete. It's what holds the world together. Yet cement accounts for 5% of global CO2 emissions. That's huge for a single industry, more than aircraft, and not a lot of people know that. Each tonne of cement emits about 800 kilograms of CO2 during manufacture. What's the problem? It's because you make cement by digging carbon out of the ground in the form of limestone, then heating it up to 1400 degrees centigrade to burn off all the carbon. What a ludicrous approach. Novacem is based on magnesium silicates, which have no carbon in them, with world reserves over 10,000 billion tonnes. That's enough even for our ambitious business plans. And during our manufacturing process, we actually absorb CO2. We've already built a small pilot plant, the first cement works in central London since the Romans, and we're going to build a 25,000 tonne semi-commercial plant after that. So it's a fantastic time to be involved with Novasem and a really exciting opportunity. What country best facilitates starting a tech company? You can start great technology companies anywhere in the world if you recognise you're playing a global game right from the start. You've got to remember that innovation comes in completely unexpected ways. Who would have thought of green cement a decade ago? The world is your oyster if you're a low-carbon technology pioneer. And being global means having an international team. So at Novasem we already have 10 nationalities. And you need to build your company where the markets are. Half the cement market is in China, India is the second biggest country, and Europe as a whole is 15%. The US is only 4% of the global cement market. You also need to find investors from all over the world. Of course, it's still true that many of the best venture capitalists come from Silicon Valley, but that's not true for private equity investors, or family offices, or corporate investors, or sovereign wealth funds. And given where the cement markets are, why would Novasem IPO on NASDAQ and we could IPO in Shanghai. What makes an innovator? You know, innovation is much more than just invention. It's not enough just to make a great invention. We also need to find new ways of doing new things. So what that means for Novasem is that we aren't going to build our own cement works, but we're going to work with the big firms in and around the cement industry. We'll give everyone access to our technology and work with them to deploy it across the world. And we'll share in the value we create so the cement industry is delighted to have solved its CO2 problems and Novasem makes great returns for our shareholders. How does your company contribute to improving the state of the world? Well, the race is on. Climate change is relentlessly warming up our planet and it will be catastrophic if we don't do something about it. The cement industry is doing a great job in facing up to its responsibilities, but it's a mature industry and there's a limit to how far they can improve existing Portland cement technology. It's clear that revolution is needed, not just adaptation. So at Novasem, we want to deploy our carbon negative cement on a global scale as soon as possible. And that's how we'll improve the state of the world.